Have you ever wondered what it's like to be trapped inside a freezer? Being locked in a freezer is a workplace hazard that shouldn't happen, but sometimes things gets really ugly. Now you might think, is it possible to stay alive at all? Or will this final destination? Keep up with us as we reveal how you can stay alive inside a freezer. The reason the freezer doors stick is because of an ice buildup around the frame. The locking mechanism and emergency release device can also freeze up. Now, you might be wondering, how on earth would someone end up in such a situation? Well, there are many possible scenarios. Here is a quick example. Chris McCabe, a 70-year-old butcher, was trapped after the wind blew the door shut on his shop's walk-in freezer. It was in the back, and no one could hear him. So he looked around and found a frozen black pudding, sometimes known as blood sausage. It was the same size and shape as the emergency release latch inside the door, which was frozen solid. A few bashes with the banger, and he managed to break out. Maybe you work in a restaurant or a grocery store, and someone accidentally locks you in the freezer room. Maybe you're playing hide-and-seek with your friends, and you think the freezer is a great hiding spot. Maybe you're a spy, and your enemies capture you and throw you in a freezer as a torture method. Or maybe you're just curious and want to see what it feels like to be in a freezer. Whatever the reason, being locked inside a freezer is no joke. It can be deadly if you don't act fast and smart. The average temperature of a freezer is around minus 18 degrees Celsius. That's way below the normal body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. If your body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius, you can develop hypothermia, which is a condition where your organs start to shut down and your brain stops functioning properly. If your body temperature drops below 28 degrees Celsius, you can die. So how do you prevent that from happening? How do you survive being locked inside a freezer? Well, here are some tips and tricks that might help you. Tip 1. Call for help. Fortunately, most of us always have our cell phones with us. And hopefully, in this case, that will include going into the freezer. So if you have your phone with you, take it out and see if there's a signal. Even a weak one might be enough to connect to an emergency number. Calls to emergency numbers must be connected even if the signal is weak. This can also help emergency services find your location and send help. Tip 2. Don't panic. The first thing you need to do is to calm down and assess the situation. Panicking will only make things worse because it will increase your heart rate and blood pressure, which will make you lose heat faster. Plus, it will cloud your judgment and prevent you from thinking clearly. Panicking is bad for your body because it triggers the fight-or-flight response, which is a natural reaction to danger or stress. This response prepares your body to either fight the threat or run away from it. It does this by releasing hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which increase your breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels. This gives you a burst of energy and strength to deal with the situation. But in a freezer, this response is counterproductive. It makes you lose heat faster because your blood vessels dilate and your skin becomes flushed. It also makes you sweat more, which lowers your body temperature even more when it evaporates. And it makes you burn more calories, which depletes your energy reserves. Panicking is also bad for your mind because it impairs your cognitive functions and emotional regulation. It makes you less able to focus, remember, reason, solve problems, and make decisions. It also makes you more prone to negative emotions like fear, anger, anxiety, and despair. These emotions can affect your motivation and willpower to survive. So take a deep breath and try to relax. Look around and see if there is anything that can help you escape or keep warm. For example, is there a door handle or a latch that you can use to open the door? Is there a phone or radio that you can use to call for help? Is there any food or drink that you can consume to boost your energy and metabolism? Is there any clothing or material that you can use to cover yourself or insulate yourself from the cold? Tip 3. Stay active. The next thing you need to do is to stay active, 
and move around as much as possible. This will help you generate heat and maintain your body temperature. You can do some simple exercises like jumping jacks, squats, push-ups, or running in place. You can also clap your hands, rub your arms and legs, or hug yourself. But don't overdo it. You don't want to sweat too much, because that will make you lose heat faster and dehydrate you. You also don't want to exhaust yourself, because that will lower your energy and morale. So pace yourself and take breaks when needed. Staying active is important because it stimulates your muscles and blood circulation, which are the main sources of heat in your body. Your muscles produce heat when they contract and relax, and your blood carries heat to different parts of your body. By moving around, you increase the amount of heat that your muscles and blood generate and distribute. But you also need to be careful not to overexert yourself. If you exercise too hard or too long, you can cause more harm than good. You can sweat too much, which will make you lose heat faster and dehydrate you. Sweating is your body's way of cooling down when it gets too hot, but in a freezer, it's not helpful. It lowers your body temperature even more when it evaporates from your skin, and it also reduces the amount of water in your body, which is essential for your cells and organs to function properly. You can also exhaust yourself, which will lower your energy and morale. Exercising too hard or too long can drain your energy reserves, which are already limited in a freezer. You need energy to keep your metabolism and immune system working, and to cope with the stress and fear of being locked inside a freezer. If you run out of energy, you can become weak, tired, depressed, and hopeless. So pace yourself and take breaks when needed. You can use the rule of thumb that if you can talk while exercising, you're doing fine. If you can't talk, you're working too hard. Try to break the door or kick it open. Use any tools or objects you can find to create leverage or force. Aim for the hinges, the lock, or the handle. If you can't break the door, try to make a hole or a crack that you can use to communicate with the outside world. Tip 4. Stay together. If you're not alone in the freezer, then stay together with the other person or people. This will help you share body heat and keep each other warm. You can also comfort each other and boost each other's spirits. The best way to stay together is to huddle in a group and wrap yourselves with whatever clothing or material you have. Try to cover as much of your skin as possible, especially your head, neck, hands, and feet. These are the parts of your body that lose heat the fastest. Staying together is beneficial because it allows you to share body heat and keep each other warm. Your body heat is the main source of warmth in a freezer, and by staying close to each other, you can transfer some of that heat to each other. This will help you maintain your body temperature and prevent hypothermia. But you also need to be careful not to suffocate each other or restrict each other's blood flow. You don't want to huddle too tightly or too loosely. You want to find a balance between being close enough to share heat but not so close that you can't breathe or move comfortably. Staying together is also helpful because it allows you to comfort each other and boost each other's spirits. Being locked inside a freezer is a scary and stressful situation, and having someone else with you can make it more bearable. You can talk to each other, tell jokes, stories, or trivia to distract yourselves from the cold. You can also encourage each other, remind each other of the reasons to survive, and give each other hope. But you also need to be careful not to argue or fight with each other or blame each other for the situation. You don't want to create more tension or conflict in an already tense and stressful situation. You want to cooperate and support each other as much as possible. Tip 5. Stay hydrated. Another thing you need to do is to stay hydrated and drink enough water. This will help you prevent dehydration and keep your body functioning properly. Water is essential for your cells and organs to work, and it also helps regulate your body temperature and blood pressure. But you need to be careful about what you drink and how much you drink. You don't want to drink anything that is too cold or too hot, because that will lower or raise your body temperature too much. 
You also don't want to drink anything that contains alcohol or caffeine, because that will dehydrate you more and make you lose heat faster. Alcohol and caffeine are diuretics, which means they make you urinate more, which reduces the amount of water in your body. You also don't want to drink too much or too little water. You want to drink enough water to keep your urine clear or pale yellow, but not so much that you feel bloated or nauseous. Drinking too much water can cause hyponatremia, which is a condition where the sodium level in your blood becomes too low. This can cause headaches, confusion, seizures, and even death. So drink enough water to stay hydrated, but not too much or too little. You can use the rule of thumb that you should drink about half a liter of water per hour in a freezer. Staying hydrated is vital because it prevents dehydration and keeps your body functioning properly. Water is essential for your cells and organs to work, and it also helps regulate your body temperature and blood pressure. Dehydration is a condition where your body loses more water than it takes in. This can happen when you sweat too much, urinate too much, vomit, have diarrhea, or don't drink enough water. Dehydration can cause many problems for your body and mind, such as dry mouth, thirst, headache, dizziness, fatigue, weakness, confusion, irritability, low blood pressure, rapid heart rate, kidney failure, coma, and death. So drink enough water to prevent dehydration and keep your body functioning properly. Water is essential for your survival in a freezer. Tip 6. Stay warm. Stay warm and prevent heat loss. This will help you avoid frostbite and hypothermia, which are the main threats to your survival in a freezer. Frostbite is a condition where your skin and tissues freeze and become damaged or dead. Hypothermia is a condition where your body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit and your organs start to shut down and your brain stops functioning properly. But you need to be careful about how you stay warm and prevent heat loss. You don't want to use any source of heat that is too dangerous or unreliable, such as fire or electricity. You also don't want to expose any part of your body to the cold air or metal surfaces, because that will make you lose heat faster. You want to use the best methods of staying warm and preventing heat loss, which are insulation and convection. Insulation is the process of trapping air between layers of clothing or material, which reduces the amount of heat that escapes from your body. Convection is the process of transferring heat from one object to another through direct contact, such as hugging another person or wrapping yourself with a blanket. So use the best methods of staying warm and preventing heat loss as much as possible. You can use the rule of thumb that you should wear at least three layers of clothing. A base layer that wicks away moisture from your skin, a middle layer that provides insulation, and an outer layer that protects you from wind and water. You should also cover as much of your skin as possible, especially your head, neck, hands, and feet. Frostbite is a condition where your skin and tissues freeze and become damaged or dead. It usually affects the parts of your body that are exposed to the cold air or metal surfaces, such as your fingers, toes, nose, ears, and cheeks. Frostbite can cause numbness, pain, blistering, discoloration, infection, gangrene, and amputation. It usually affects the whole body but especially the core organs like the heart, lungs, liver, and brain. So stay warm and prevent heat loss as much as possible. This will help you avoid frostbite and hypothermia and increase your chances of survival in a freezer. Tip 7. Stay positive. The last thing you need to do is to stay positive and hopeful. This will help you cope with the stress and fear of being locked inside a freezer. It will also help you keep your motivation and determination to survive. You can do this by thinking about the people who love you and care about you and how they are waiting for you to come back home safely. You can also think about the things that make you happy and excited, like your hobbies, passions, dreams, or goals. You can also talk to yourself or the other person or people in the freezer and tell jokes, stories, or trivia to distract yourselves from the cold. 
Staying positive is crucial because it affects your mental and physical health. Your thoughts and emotions have a powerful impact on your body and mind. If you think positively and optimistically, you can boost your immune system, reduce inflammation, lower your blood pressure, improve your mood, enhance your memory, increase your creativity, and strengthen your resilience. But if you think negatively and pessimistically, you can weaken your immune system, increase inflammation, raise your blood pressure, worsen your mood, impair your memory, decrease your creativity, and lower your resilience. So think positively and optimistically as much as possible. Remember that being locked inside a freezer is not the end of the world. It's just a temporary setback that you can overcome with courage and intelligence. You are stronger than you think. Do never ever question your ability to survive. Stay strong, you can do this. In and out, covered.